Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. This is another video for Saturday. Got a lot of, I've read a list of videos that we've got to be looking at, topics, going into great detail, because there's some things that you might have missed from the coverage, and of course doing a live stream recap, even though we're taking one hour, condensing it down to 15 minutes, we're trying to cover things quickly, there are things that require a little bit more to go over, so there's a fair amount of videos to discuss things. And one of those things is the banquet event. These banquet tickets, do have a great type of methodology to encourage you to be engaged with the game, but there might be something that we're missing from this, and that's the thing that not scares me, but but something that as we are doing, as it's nearly three months and a bit away from the banquet event, and how the banquet event is fun, there's something that was mentioned in the acquisition of these free Greater Banquet Crystals that kind of undermined the Acolytes event. Now, everything will be happy and rosy if we see the Greater Banquet Crystals you can get from this Saga Chase, plus the Accolades. So we're going to go over this. Bear with me because this is a, this is a bit of an interesting topic and TLDRing this is basically, I'm a bit worried that we're not going to get as many Greater Banquet Crystals at the end of the year like we did last year because we're chasing them now and if you don't take part in these sagas, this saga chase, you're going to be screwed. But let's identify some facts and try and see if we can smooth things over. So here's the facts. First and foremost, you can collect Greater Banquet Crystals as a result of getting Banquet Tickets. Uh, there's also, and how you do that is you uh, trade them in for Game Store Bundles, which, you know... Um, I think from the way they described it, they do have uh, banquet crystals which you get towards the end of the year that could kind of like help towards your totals for the banquet event. If everybody remembers the banquet event, it is and has milestones which look like, um, well these are, the, I think these are the solo ones, but you, the more you open, the more you get, the more units you invest, the further you go down with the milestones. But of course what you need to do in order to get points is to open up this crystals. Well, the crystals. Once you open up the crystals, you get points. The points acquisition is going to be a lot less than it was, uh, there is a lot than buying them. So last year, and again, I don't know, and this is why it's always scary, isn't it? Because we don't know the future, we don't know how to prepare. So we can try and best we can prepare. And that's the thing, isn't it? Opening up a greater banquet crystal is 700 points. Last year, as part of the Accolade, uh, Accolade event, you got 14 free crystals. Yes, it's confirmed the Accolades event is coming back, but no, because there is something a bit of a mystery with the way that Kabam are uh, saying it's set out. And this is why I'm hoping that these go hand in hand with it. But obviously, please keep, please follow the video as uh, we try and kind of explain why this could be an issue and why it may not be. This is what I want to get to, this screen right here. These give you all of the different banquet ticket sources. Based on my calculations, which I'm pretty certain is right, uh, we get 129 crystals. Uh, sorry, 129 tickets. 129 tickets. Once we've got those tickets, that breaks down to 10 tickets per one greater banquet crystal. And of course, for those that know their sums, that equals 12 free Greater Banquet Crystals. If Kabam are doing the same scoring as they did last year, that would be 700 times the 12, 8,400 free points. And where that would get you, and again, we're talking about stuff that's like months in the future, but as I said, the reason that we do these videos is to prep you all on, on things of kind of acquisition um, I don't, oh, there we go. There's there's some there's some points there. I haven't done it in a, in a like an, a good explanation way. Um, which yeah, eight thousand four hundred points. It's like they've already preset that you would get up to here the Nexus Five Star Hero Crystal, um, which is the Alliance side of things. I'm not quite sure. Do we have the? I want to see if I do have the. Yes, I do have the Solo side of things. Let's just get that better into shot. So that's the. Yeah, the master, the sort of solo would get you up to the Nexus five star. So that all seems to like tie in to be correct based on the points, at, the point, points set from last year. 
Uh, of course, if you're doing your contribution side of things, that would get you from an alliance perspective, which let's bring that into shot and let's get some arrows in just to kind of like help out with you. So that would get you from an alliance perspective past this point here for 8,000, which would be a six star hero crystal shards plus greater banquet crystals if, if Kabam are running the same thing as they did uh, last year. So on the face of it, it's actually pretty good if Kabam are giving out 12 for free. But it does, of course, put a little bit of an issue in, in that if the Accolades event is structured in a different way, which based on what they've set out from uh, this image here, Accolades event, December Accolades event only gives you 10, which, as we established, 10 equals 1, 1 of your GBCs, because 10, 10 tickets equals one GBC. So people that may be lost in a video, what's the point? What are you trying to get to, Rich? My point is going to be get involved with all of this stuff. If, and as we said, if Gabam, I've, I've reduced down the accolades event because we don't know yet if we're going to get based on last year's, where is it? There. If this is not gonna, if this is no bueno, we're not doing this, right? These fourteen accolades, uh, fourteen GBCs from the accolades event and calendar, uh, or what it, you know, whatever it was, like I don't know, ten. Uh, I can't remember what the amount you got in the calendar was. But if you're not going to get yourself them there, you will have to get involved between now and the end of the year to get the GBCs. Because you can't wait. Like, this is why you need to be telling people to come back to the game. It's terrible we're going to be advocates of this to say, you have to come back, you have to play. But I think Kabam are doing it in a certain way that it looks like. You have to be playing and you have to be doing the September meta event, the October meta event, the November meta event, December meta event, Royal Hunt, October double track. December Accolades event, which you only get one GBC from, most of it comes from other areas, as well as Battleground Season 22, Incursions Challenge Sector, Super Season, the Alliance will Super Season, AWES, which is whatever that is, um, you need to do it. And that's, that's, that's the warning from this video is you're going to have to do this because we don't know if we get the Accolades event. And you might be going December like this. Well, I've got no free, free GBC because you didn't do the stuff between September and December. I saw this yesterday and thought I've got to make a video on it, but I had to kind of do a bit of research and as well, like, you know, look back to my previous guides and spreadsheets as a forewarning to everybody. You're going to have to do this stuff now so you don't feel punished by the end of the year. That's the scary thing. You will, if you want the GBCs, you want to get further in the event, you've got to You've got to go now. Uh, where where is it? Like you've got to go. You've got to go now to get. Uh, oh, actually, I've got the info. I've actually got the info about um, accolades, which is there. Five Acc five GBCs from accolades was on December twenty seventh last year. You got five another five there from accolades. So that's two lots. So that's ten. So you uh, is there only one more? No, I think it's there. I think it's there. And I think it's there, five and five. And then the rest came from there. So this is a warning to everybody. Treat this video as a warning to everybody. We don't know, and it's highly likely, if you don't do all of the events Kabam have listed, these ones here, you be you will be without a good amount of gram, greater banquet crystals when it comes to the banquet event in December. There you go, that's it. I think I'd need a bit more clarity from Kabam on this one because it, it wasn't really given the indication. And look, if we get the accolades event in, the thing is, it, it doesn't say it. Like if we, if we, I was hoping that they'd at least say you should not wait for GBCs and the accolades event because that only equals one. Instead, you're gonna have to do all of the events or lose out. GBCs, it seems, on paper. So anyway, good luck to you. <laughs> that's that's really it. that's your warning. That's the that's the kind of like the tea from the video. We're still un it's still unknown whether or not Kabam will change that. 
they will give you GBCs for free. They probably will in the calendar, but the accolades event has changed. That reduces, loses 10 or 9 now. You've lost 9 GBCs from the accolades event in December, so you will have to do all of these particular events, including buying from the Traders Store, Traders Outlet, the, um, uh, the, the tickets. So make sure to purchase them with Mysterium in the store and compete in all of these uh, things here. Uh, and of course, you can top up by offers, but a bit sneaky, right? We learned something today, and I hope this fail, this warning serves as something sticks in here. You must do all of these, otherwise you will not be able to get a large amount of GBCs like you were last year. You lost nine if this is the case. We'll see, but get involved with this content or else. Anyway, we'll see what happens at the end of the year. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.